welcome back everyone so today in this video we will be discussing about the new atlas os for windows 11 that is meant for the gamer and for the people who are using the low-end pc now if you come to their website it says a modification of windows designed for gamer if you scroll down they have improved the performance reduced the latency and the privacy there is a comparison between atlas versus windows in the CPU usage which has been reduced from 2 to 10% to 0% that's great the RAM usage from 2.3 GB to 1.2 GB and the FPS it says from 217 to 365 now it says in Valorant we saw a significant improvement in the FPS lows now guys I have already tested the Atlas OS and trust me there was a great change the cpu usage the ram usage the processes the task running in the background was reduced up to 50 percent and the best part is you don't have to clean install windows 11 if you are already using windows 11 you can quickly upgrade to atlas os without losing any kind of data so without any delay let's quickly get started but before that let me show you that what kind of usage is right now on my windows 11 so if i bring up the task manager and bring up the performance tab so you can see the processes running in the background is around 136 the threads are like 1400 and the handles are around 52 and 53 thousand now if you look over the cpu usage it's around like uh, 8 to 10 percent memory usage is 57 percent so that is the current status right now so keep this in mind because once we will upgrade to atlas you will find that there will be a great change okay so let's close it now again you will have to come to the atlas website the link will be in the description now once you come up here you have to click on atlas playbook and it will be downloaded then you have to click on ame wizard and this file will be also downloaded once it get downloaded you have to open the downloaded folder let me minimize other things okay so we have downloaded both the files here first you have to extract atlas playbook so right click on it and choose extract all click on extract and here you will find disable automatic driver installation so you will have to make a double click on it click on run click on yes click on yes again and then click on ok now once it's been done you have to close it now come to ame wizard beta right click on it click on extract all click on extract and here you will find ame wizard beta double click on it click on yes and then finally you will be getting this kind of wizard beta of ame now here on the left hand side you have to click on drag.apbx file click on it now navigate to the location where you have downloaded the file and you have to go to atlas playbook and here you'll find atlas playbook.apbx select it click on open now it says disable the security so you have to click on run action then click on open windows security and disable all these security because this might block them to upgrade so better go ahead and disable all of them and once it will be disabled it says windows security is disabled so you can close it now here you have to click on next now this will be detecting your windows activation so make sure your windows is activated and then it will be analyzing the installation so once both are being checked you have to click on next click next click on agree then you have to click on select options now here you don't have to make any changes just make sure that whatever is being recommended you agree with that so keep clicking on next next now here it says remove microsoft edge bluetooth and power saving so if you don't want to disable the bluetooth you can uncheck it and then click on next click on ok and then click on next and the process will now be started so it may take about like 5 to 10 minutes 
and between the process only it will be applying all kind of changes so just wait and watch until it's all been done And between the process only you will find that there are been changes made on the computer now like the theme has been changed the background has been changed and even the taskbar that has been moved from center to the left hand side okay so finally it's running the script so you will have to wait until it's all been done and then it will be restarting the computer and then we will have the final look of atlas operating system all right so finally the computer has been restarted now and now you are good to go to enjoy the atlas operating system as of windows 11 so now let's see that how it looks like so you can see the changes the uh, background has been changed and if you want to change the background the wallpaper of windows 11 then you can do that so make a right click on it personalize and did you notice that how fast it's working now it is very fast I can go and change to Windows 11. That's the basic one. Okay, now if I click on the Windows icon and it looks neat and clean. And if I click on all apps, so you can see there are very minimal and all kind of bloatware has been removed. You can only see that we have the important one that is store, paint, settings, terminal, Windows security, Windows tool and Xbox and everything has been removed okay now if i bring up the task manager so if i go to the performance so now you can see the process that was around 140 150 130 now that has been reduced to 76 the thread that were around 14 to 1500 now it came to around 1100 the handle that was around 50000 now it came to 34000 now even if you look on the CPU and the memory usage, it has been reduced. So that means if there is a so much of drop in the usage, of course you will be getting the better performance past Windows 11 and surely you will be getting the high frame rate on any of the game that you play on this Atlas operating system. And now if you want to make this taskbar from the left hand side to the center only, then you can right click on the taskbar, go to taskbar settings and here click on taskbar behavior and here in the taskbar alignment you can choose it to center and it will come to center okay so now it's almost your windows 11 but it's atlas os with all kind of bloatware removed optimized so that you can get the better performance best frame rate for your gaming and that's all guys for today hopefully you will find this video helpful and if yes let me know in the comment section that will you be upgrading to atlas os or not and i see you in the next video bye bye